is a breakthrough imminent in india china military face off in east ladakh is there some good news on india china front has india china war been averted or will it be averted well friends this is the subject material of today's video editorial and my sources tell me that china is seriously wanting to have de escalation china does not want a war with india this is the subject friends i am rajiv sharma do watch this very brief editorial till the end i am sure you will find it useful well if my sources are correct they are usually credible then china is going to dismount from its high horse in ladakh now it's all boiling down to china finding a face saving formula india does not want anything less than will not settle for anything less than a status quo ante that is going back to the pre may 5 positions of the troops on the line of actual control particularly in the galwan valley area of ladakh and even more specifically from in the fingers area from finger 4 to finger 8 where the indian troops used to normally patrol up to finger 8 but now they are unable to because chinese troops have set up establishments built up concrete structures including radar facilities in those areas indian patrolling is not possible because of this beyond finger 4 now don't rule out a senior level engagement between india and china in the coming days and weeks this can be at the nsa level national security advisor level or foreign minister level or both in incremental order this is nothing new it's a tried and tested remedy in india china context Three years ago, India and China had taken recourse to this route only in resolving the seventy-three-year-old, seventy-three, seventy-three-day-old Doklam crisis. But before that, some nitty-gritties had to be completed. some nuts and bolts have to be fastened the two sides which are glaring at a complete trust deficit a heart back to 1962 time so today the situation as far as india china bilateral ties are concerned is we are back to 1962 no trust no question of verification when there is no trust now also even as i speak even as you listen watch 
the diplomats of the two sides, the diplomacy is at work. The diplomats of the two sides are engaged quietly, which is the way it should be. But before this process matures up, before it comes to NSA level talks or foreign minister level dialogue, whether virtually or meeting is now it is not possible, even a telephonic conversation should be good enough. So I believe that the two sides must respect to each other's Lakshman Rekhas, each other's red lines, to give peace a chance. From India's point of view, the Indian Lakshman Rekha, the Indian red line is that China must vacate every square inch of the territory it used to hold pre-May 5 in Eastern Ladakh and elsewhere. China should not grab even a square inch of Indian territory. China must not forget that Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he can, he loves winning elections. He won 2019 general election only on the ground of nationalism, which many of his critics dub as jingoism. Remember the Pulwama attack. The way Modi encashed that Pulwama attack and changed the course and discourse of the national politics. So much so that the entry of Priyanka Gandhi into active politics was relegated into background. That was the magic of national fervor and nationalism. Now in November, Bihar elections are coming and then in May, June, next year, West Bengal elections are coming. Modi can go to any extent in winning elections. China must not forget this. Similarly, these are the Indians, uh, India's red lines for China. China's red lines for India are also are many. For example, Quad should not be militarized. If Australia, Japan, and US they decide to to militarize the Quad, India should keep away from it. India must not disturb the one China policy uh, 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 you know equation. by giving undue advantage, undue prominence to Taiwan or stepping up ties or bilateral interactions with Taiwan. Third, India must keep up its two-year-old policy of, uh, from Chinese point of view, India must keep up its policy, two-year-old policy of having no government contacts whatsoever with the Dalai Lama and his establishment. So, there are many, there are many red lines from both the sides. Till that time, India and China must understand that they must mature like, they, they must behave like mature countries. They are big countries, both are nuclear armed countries. Both of them must remember the famous couplet from Hindi poet Rahim. Rahiman dhaga prem ka mat todo chatkaye. Tute se na jude, tute se fir na jude, jude gaat pad jaye. That is, don't ever break the thread of love. If it breaks, it cannot rejoin. If it rejoins, it develops it not. So this is a very important message for both India and China. Well friends, I come to the end of this video. I hope you like this and you will subscribe to my channel. Thank you.